Hello, so today I thought I'd just quickly do a bit of an introduction to the little video that I've done about using a laminated sheet um, to pick up paint. I've done a little video so you'll be able to watch that later. But these are examples of some of the things that I've got when I pick the paint up from my laminated sheet that I sit my jelly plate on. Um, the, you get some gorgeous prints. This is one of my favourites. This is another. This one is a really nice one. That one's not got as much depth and neither has that, but they're still nice and if I do some more work to them they'll be great. I'll also show you what I do with some of them. This is the original which is really nice, got nice little nuggets of texture and a, a pale background which is what I tend to do with those uh, which shows up the texture a bit more. Then I then put it on my copier scanner and just scan it and copy it. Well, it's actually just copying it, not scanning it. And um, this is what it, I end up with because I do fit to page so that it blows the image up so it fits onto the page so it's a lot lot bigger and you can see the detail a lot more and lots of the little nuggets of texture and everything it isn't the same as having the original to work with because this feels so nice and it's got an actual physical texture but for some projects just as a background this will be fine and I can use parts and then I can photocopy the original again and use it again. Sometimes I do on my copier I can sort of make it darker or lighter and sometimes I try both um, and it changes it again so you could always try that. I'll turn that one over so I can show you a couple more. This is a an original um, this was done the other day and it's sort of sagey greens, reds and pinks with a little bit of peach and that's really nice. When I've blown it up so it's bigger, I've got a lot more sort of, I can see the, the texture a lot more so that's worked really well. This one is one of my favourites. My absolute favourite I've actually used so I'm going to have to copy it again. But this is nice because it's got big chunky areas of peeled paint that have come off, um, little bits here. I did actually add a little bit of distress ink onto this one once it was dry because it just needed lifting with a little bit more of colour. So I just used, I think it was fossilised amber or um, something like that anyway. This one is the photocopy and I haven't darkened it or lightened it, it is just as is and that's really nice and for tags this area would be great. This one is another nice one, this is the original, it's got gorgeous texture going on here and when it's blown up you can see all the texture a lot more. So I hope that gives you an insight as to what I do with my prints from my laminating sheet. All right so I've been jelly printing for just a little bit. I've been using sort of earthy colours so I've got sort of prints with greens and oranges and browns, a bit of sort of gold um, with quite a few layers on. I wanted them to be sort of grungy and dark so they've got quite a few layers on. I've also got a journal page where I've rolled off some paint and various other things. So I'll just pull a print from here Put 
some marks on here. Get a little bit of wallpaper. Put some more marks. I can press that onto there. That gets a few marks on there. Any leftover pink can go on there too. This is my laminated sheet. My jelly plate sits on it and this is where I roll off any spare paint. I thought I'd try and do a quick video rather than the last one I did which was nearly an hour long um, because I got carried away with jelly printing. So I'll just pull a print of that one. This has got a few layers on but needs some more. One. That's another layer on there. Let's see. I might leave that to dry while I work on this side. So this has, as I say, got quite a few layers you can see built up on it. I'm going to get a baby wipe. I prefer to use the ones without a logo on, but haven't got any at the moment. So this has got a logo on. They're quite moist. So I'm going to put it over the top of this bit here. And this is where I've rolled off all my spare paint that I didn't want. My table's got a little bit of a bump in it, so my brayer just goes up the hill. So I've just got a clean baby wipe on and I'm just pressing down and you do need to hang on to one end of your, your baby wipe otherwise it rolls around your roller and I'm just working some moisture into that paint. This doesn't always work, sometimes you get a wonderful print, sometimes you get nothing. But sometimes jelly printing is like that. And as much as this isn't a jelly print, it's the same principle. I've got a piece of white scrapbook paper, it's just left over from a project. And I tend for this type of thing to like a white background, it shows up the texture a bit more. And I get a lighter feel, as opposed to the darker ones I've got with my jelly print. So you pull the baby wipe off. And the baby wipes are really good to keep because you get a lovely pattern on there. And then roll again with your brayer. And then this is the hair presto moment, whether you either get something or nothing. And that is the sort of thing I get. Sometimes I get a little bit more bigger texture, sometimes less. But you do get a nice lot of texture, either fine or bit chunkier. You can go back again. See that baby wipe is lovely to be dried out and then add to things. That's absolutely fab. You go back again. Sometimes second time you don't get as much because obviously you've picked it up. It's the same principle as jelly printing but you're just using your paint that you've had on a laminated sheet and you get slightly different things. Right, so I'll take that off again. This one I've already tried to pull a print earlier and I didn't get a lot. And I did it on the gold side. Again, I'm just trying to pick up the leftover paint. Now that one, you can see, hasn't got as much paint. It's got little areas that are nice, but some of it is quite boring and pale. So what I need to do is put a bit more paint on here as I'm jelly printing, more paint on here, build the layers up again, and then have another go on the top of that. Um, 
but you get the general idea. What I could do is use that to pick up some of this. 